Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm going to be having a look at the new Red Dragon Peter Wright Spirit Darts. Now it doesn't actually say on the site the percentage of tungsten on these, it just says premium tungsten and I think they've done that before on some other sets so I'm not sure what the premium tungsten is, whether it's 90%, 8% or a mixture of them both, I couldn't tell you but that's what it says on the site. Now I actually bought a few things from Red Dragon um, but before I bought the, these things Red Dragon also sent me a few things and one of the things they sent me was this new Red Dragon Ionic Polo shirt and very nice it is too it's got a very sporty look now the shirts are around about 30 is it £39.95 now when I checked on the site I could only see medium large extra large extra extra large and extra 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 large I think it was I didn't see no small so whether or not they're available in small I'm not sure but uh, I do like the slimline collar and like I say it's quite a nice dart uh, shirt so that's the shirt now regarding the darts I actually bought them from the Red Dragon site and I bought a few other sets um, I think I spent about £250 worth and I think I only got five sets that's crazy isn't it um, but before I, I bought them, um, there was a thing came up and it said, if you sign up to the Red Dragon newsletter, you get 10% off. I thought I was already signed up to that, but can't have been. So I signed up to it thinking it wasn't going to work. And anyway, I got a 10% uh, code in my email. So everything I bought, I got 10% uh, off. So if you haven't done that already, make sure you sign up to the newsletter and then get your 10% off and then put your order in. 10% is 10% isn't it and everything counts these days but the darts themselves another colourful set for Peter Wright so let's check them out so I'm reviewing the 23 gram version and as I said it doesn't tell you the tungsten it just says premium tungsten whatever that is you can also get them in 21 and 25 gram in steel tip 20 gram in soft tip and they retail for £79.90 so as you can see they come in the Red Dragon Snake Bite Peter Wright Double Weld Champion packaging quite a thick strong cardboard box and pull that tab you got a little foam inlay holding the darts in place and they come fitted with the Snake Bite Nitro Tech Polycarbonate and Alloy Top Stems and you've also got a set of these if I can get them out Snake Bite extra thick standard flights some nice uh, design on them so the darts fit with a black coated point it's a fairly long straight barrel dart and you've got a slightly tapered bull nose and it's got this kind of like I'll say it's a fairly flattish shark style grip but it's got these um, lateral cuts running through it so there is a little bit of grip there but I don't think it's as grippy as it first looks and as you can see it's got the PVD coating on some nice colours on it and you got kind of like a bluey green purple and red so it looks rather nice but for mid grippers you've got that dreaded smooth section in the middle so <laughs> I guess it depends on whether you just want to go slightly in front or behind that if you need some grip um, front and rear grippers are well catered for I think just got that small smooth section on the end but that's there uh, quite a nice looking dart um, definitely doesn't feel as grippy here as I thought it was going to be so whether it feels any different when I throw it we'll see but the fit with the medium snake bite logo nitro tech stems and some rather nice design snake bite extra thick standard flights so at the front you've got a tapered bull nose you've got the black pvd coating on and then the grip is kind of like a thin angled ring grip but it's got these like v-shaped lateral cuts running through it and as you can see it's got that blue kind of like metallic coating um, I wouldn't say that grip is grippy though but it does look quite aggressive when you see it like that but if you look it's fairly flattish so 
it's not like a, a shark style grip where it's quite angled and sticking out into your skin i don't think that's going to do that so to me it doesn't really feel all that grippy and on the middle section you've got some purple colored grooves and then the snake bite logo in the smooth part and the red dragon logo and then as you move on to the rear same again as the front but now you've got some red colored grooves instead and then at the very end you've just got a smooth tapered section so there you go that's the super close look at the peter wright spirit darts the darts fit with a black coated 26 millimeter point you've got a tapered bull nose that's 3.9 millimeters then you've got this angled ring grip with the v-shaped lateral cuts that's 19.9 millimeters smooth section in the middle that's seven millimeters another section of the angled rings with the v-shaped lateral cuts again 19.9 millimeters and then a tapered section on the end of the barrel 3.9 millimeters length is 54.6 millimeters width is 6.25 millimeters twenty three point zero eight grams twenty three point zero eight grams again and twenty three point zero nine so nearly perfect Full setup, 24.94 grams. Here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup. And this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. Well, I don't know if it's just me, but it kind of felt a little bit below medium level to me. So 4.5 for me, but if it feels different for you, then let us know in the comments. Well, well, fairly smooth through the air. It's got a very thin feel to the barrel though, which I'm not always that keen on. And obviously it's a long barrel. Again, not something I always like, but occasionally some of them work all right. I think the thing I'm probably most slightly disappointed with is the grip. It's, I was just expecting it to be more grippy than that, but I'm not all them little cuts and I'm, I'm not really feeling any edginess, but I suppose it depends on what you like. Some people may prefer it that way. <clears throat> I think it's probably closer to a medium level. Oh, I got that last one in as well. So, two twelve twenties on the last one there, but I think if you're into your long thin barrels, you're probably gonna like it. Um, don't be afraid in thinking it's gonna be super grippy though, cause I, I personally don't think it is, but there you go. I think that's in the treble, that. That definitely isn't. <laughs> It was in the treble. Ah, it went really nice that one as well. I'm molding it pretty much on that smooth band, maybe a little bit half on the grip above. Um, I don't really think there's a massive difference between the two grips though, so if you're a mid gripper, the smooth band is gonna be somewhere where you're gripping it anyway. Treble one champion. Did I get that one in as well? No, it was just above. I got two in the treble one. <laughs> yeah, so the, the smooth band is always gonna be an issue if you're a mid gripper, but you may still get a bit of grip from 
the part above it just depends on how much is on the smooth part but like I say I don't think there's a massive amount of difference between the two grips not initially but it's going to work if you're a mid gripper as often is the case with straight barrel darts Last two actually quite straight through the air. I'm holding it on the the rear section, but that little black part there almost wet, blends into the stem, so it actually goes a little bit further back than you think. So. Got a treble from the rear grip. <laughs> I think with darts like this, it just depends if you like a long, thin dart, really. Treble one champion again. I do like the colours on this one, Mike. Oh, it's quite a nice one for Peter Wright, definitely with them colours. So I'd probably say front and rear grippers are the ones getting the best from it, but I don't think the grip is super grippy anyway, so mid grippers, you might be still fine. Why did the second one let me down again? Never mind. So, there you go. That's the Red Dragon Peter Wright Spirit Darts. I do quite like the look of these ones. I think they're a, a nice looking dart. Um, just a little bit disappointed that they weren't a bit more grippy than I was expecting. Um, long darts and thin darts, not something I particularly like myself like. So... If that's what you like then fine but uh, I think maybe front and rear grippers probably get the best of it but there's not a lot in it really and straight barrels are just going to work whether you're a front mid or rear gripper. Um, so I'm coming up to I think I've actually already passed it actually 35,000 subscribers um so i'll be doing a giveaway for my 35k subscriber giveaway so look out for that coming soon and you'll be able to win these darts so i'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a close look at them i'll see you on the next one happy darting <laughs>